Throughout the course of our nation's history, courageous men and women have served our country to protect our freedoms. Central New York is home to thousands of veterans, men and women who have served in wars from World War II to Korea to Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Many of these service members have also served our local communities in response to natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy. The memorials on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. allow Americans from across the country to pay tribute every day to our nation's great veterans and to extend gratitude to those who have put their lives in harm's way for our freedom and for our democracy. At home, I've recently had the opportunity to honor two great American heroes and to thank them for making our freedom possible. I was able to award these great men, Private Anthony Tangretti, who served in World War II, and Sergeant Gary Janis, who served in Vietnam, the medals that they were due for their service. These memorials are a testament to the loyalty and the courage of these men, and so many like them, who have answered the call of duty. They are a forceful reminder of the debt that we owe our nation's veterans. And I'm committed, as Central New York's representative in Congress, to ensuring that veterans from all generations are given the care and benefits that they are owed. Our nation's brave veterans have earned a lifetime of gratitude. As we celebrate Veterans Day, let us take a moment to thank those brave men and women, both in our communities and nationwide, who have served this great country of ours.